One of the most annoying errors you could ever see on Flutterflow or Flutterweb in general is the course errors. It doesn't really tell you anything about anything. So for the first few times, you kind of have to guess on what to do. In this video, I'm going to share some of my experience about dealing with course errors. Imagine you have an app that's making some fancy API calls, but it's not actually working. So you open the inspection menu and see these course errors. You open up Google and do a quick search. Usually the first thing they tell you is to enable cores on your backend site. And if you actually have access to your own backend, it's super easy. For example, if you have a cloud function, just add this course package to the beginning of your cloud function and you are set. But if it's a third party API and there's no settings for cores, you have to create a proxy cloud function to make this API call. On Flutterflow, it's super easy. Just enable this switch and you're done. By the way, if you enjoyed this kind of videos, please consider subscribing and leaving a thumbs up. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know who let him in. Anyways, let me tell you about our next solution. This one came as a bit of a surprise to me. But if you are using Flutterflow's API calls and in the body section of that API call, you have a field that can have line breaks in it. It can cause course errors. Yeah, it's weird, but fixing it is super easy. Just create this custom function and put it right before passing the variable to your API call. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching the video to the end and see you on the next one.